For this transition, we will select a custom image, we will prepare it for work, and then we create a themed transition out of it. Hey, welcome back! Let us make another interesting transition. I'll not waste any time, and I'll tell you, please create a new composition. I press Ctrl or Command N inside of After Effects, and I name my composition T2 Splash. This time we will try to create a splash. You can of course create something different, but I would like to show you a simple workflow you can follow to create nearly any kind of transition working with any scheme you select. For this transition we will dive deep into a splash. So I'll use a site called Freepik, but you are free to select any resource you want. Freepik is really okay because there are plenty of vectors here to select. You can purchase a subscription if you would like to use them commercially, but you can also go with a free plan. So I'll select Splash and try to find something. You can of course take Google search because it doesn't matter if you use a PNG image or a vector images. Once you find something, please download a splash like this. I'll go with the green ones here. These look very cool and symmetrical. So I'll just download them and see you in a brief moment. I select the free download. I have two vector files which would be perfect for usage, but let's say someone of you doesn't know Illustrator and doesn't know how to use those vector files. So I'll use the JPEG. You would need to have it transparent. So let me open it. I'll open it in Photoshop. If you don't want to use Photoshop or Illustrator, please just find something transparent. I'll quickly prepare this here. Maybe I will use only those splashes. I crop them around. I deselect everything. I use my magic wand tool, I delete everything, and this is okay to use. Now I can select them and create new files for usage. Two or three different images will be completely enough. So once you prepare a few images or you search for them on the internet, please save them and we are ready to work. Now going back into After Effects, I select the assets and I place them here. Since these are PNG images, you can take them into your design. You can go to Layer, Auto Trace. Select OK and Auto Trace will create a vectorized layer. Remember, once you are tracing it, Auto Trace, have applied to a new layer selected. I'll delete now the PNG. I will go to the Effects once again. And as you saw, I'll select the Fill Effect. I will take this fill effect on this auto trace layer and now depending on what color you want to achieve, you just change the color here. Let me do the same for the other images. I take the fill effect, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, Ctrl V. Alright, now I have three different splashes. I'll also duplicate the first splash, maybe duplicate the second. I have around five splashes. I want to change their coloristic now. Let's say we are staying with the red color. So I take the red color, I make some burgundy darker, I make some lighter, I make a really heavy red. Now I have five splashes. Now if you are in the same place than I, we can start adjusting it. You can go with the same color over each one if you want. And what is the beauty here? You can create any type of transition because, for example, I have something themed and connected with water, with fishes, I would use this splash, but you can use any PNG image, any vector image, really, you can do houses, you can do animals, and you can create a transition with help of them. Maybe five will be too much, let me select four, and I will place them somewhat around here in random places. I will stagger them like this, one, a few frames. I don't have to be precise, I would like kinda a random feeling here. I will select all of those layers by hitting on the first shift key and selecting all of them. Now I'll open up the scale by hitting the S key. I take the first one, I press on the keyframe and I go down to a 0% scale. I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, maybe 6 frames forward and I will make the scale much much bigger because I want those splashes to cover up the entire screen. Let's say I'll make it 400%. I 
I'll take those keyframes, place the playhead here, and copy them over. Place it here, select the layer, Control V. Take this one, Control V. Now let us preview what did we achieve. Well, it's very quick, it's too quick, and it's still too small. So I need to definitely select all those keyframes, make them longer, and now work with the scale. The last one is the biggest one, so you have to make this keyframe bigger. And now watch there because there is something important. If the playhead will be here and I will work with the scale, it will just put another keyframe. I need the scale again. All right, you need to move the playhead here in order to change the value of this keyframe. Now the best thing in the world happened. My computer froze. Let me redo the things I've done before and I'll get back to you in a second. I'm really sorry, but this was really weird. Okay, I'm back at the moment we left. I'll use only three splashes. So one, two, three. I go forward. The first one, this upper one, covers it pretty much. The second one needs some adjustment. It needs to be fairly bigger. It's actually the left one, all right. Now I go to the last. It also covers up the screen, maybe just a tad bigger. And I feel like either you can select the same color for all of them, or you can stay with random colors. There was not much work left. You will see how we can later on reveal the same backwards, but this comes later as we create a few transitions. I believe I want to create first four transitions with you before we start making a template out of this and prepare it for reusage. Basically what I wanted to show you that with the simplest tools, like only the scale property, you can create an interesting transition which will have its own team. Let me preview it. Well, of course, you need to change those keyframes. You need to either right click, keyframe assistant and easy ease them so they look a bit better. And if the animation is still too boring and you want to spice it up, just go inside the graph editor, select the keyframes and change them a little bit up. Now let's make it quicker at the beginning and then it will go a bit slower. Something like this looks okay. Something is wrong with the right one. I should maybe reposition it like this. Let me preview this now. All right, looks a tiny bit better. And currently the animation is okay. Thank you very much for working with me. I hope you selected either your own splash or your own team and created a custom transition with it.